long time okay i'm back <laughs> i'm back and better than ever I'm not gonna lie i'm actually getting ready for the most life-changing thing possible in my life right now so it's a big it's a big day it's a big weekend okay i'm getting ready to go fly to houston texas i got invited to houston okay for an interview for my dream job everyone's dream job you know what i'm saying so i'm just beyond excited and grateful and thankful to be here I have all of my stuff my carry-on and my you know personal bag or whatever here is my airport outfit i have this black turtleneck from h&m and kind of a matching you know long skirt we have to be business on the plane they're back you know and for the duration of my stay. Let me get my scarf and stuff real quick. I wanna finish up my hair. I'm not gonna put on makeup. If anything, some brow gel and some of the gloss, but I think I'm good. I have everything packed, everything that I need. I'm excited, y'all. Like, I'm gonna show you guys my journey through the airport. This is my first time in the airport by myself. I got this. Oh, I got my nails done specifically for my big day i'm so excited y'all like i'm meant to be here so i'm gonna go do my thing and i'm coming back with what i deserve okay i'm just so so excited i'm gonna get my watch on like y'all i prepared myself like i even got myself a new Apple watch just because i told myself if i get this far in this process i'm getting you a watch like i ain't had a watch in forever that thing broke let me show you guys my watch. So I got the Apple Watch Ultra, okay? I figured if I'm getting a new watch, I want a new watch, okay? So this one got a different look, a different feel. The screen's bigger, the, the features are different. It's so cute and it's huge, actually, I'm not gonna lie. It's a 49mm screen. And I got the, what's this called? The Alpine Loop Band in Starlight. Um, mm, mm, we, 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 we're here and we're going to freaking Houston, Texas. That's, I love Houston. I go over there for my family. I go there for a good turn up, but we're here for a whole nother reason. And so excited. I'm going to see y'all in the airport. Yes, I've made it. I freaking made it. I did it by myself. I'm here. <sighs> I'm in Houston. I'm also in my Airbnb. So I'm going to show you guys a little tour. As bad as I wanted to stay in the hotel, $350 a night. I mean, we're in downtown Houston, but $350 a night was not going to cut it when I'm here for $100 a night. So I'm definitely paying less for my whole trip than I would have in one day at a hotel. So the only thing I'm nervous about now is this interview child. <laughs> I'm gonna kill it regardless. Like, probably some chapstick. Let me show you guys this tour real quick. 
And I also, y'all saw me in that pizza spot earlier, but I had to sit in that pizza spot because I was here a little earlier than my check-in time. So luckily the pizza spot was right around the corner. So she said the cleaners and stuff were in here. So she would text me when the cleaners were gone. And as soon as the cleaners left, I was crossing the street to get, <laughs> I was crossing the street to get into this thing. So let's get it to me. So here is the front door. Abby, Abby, Abby. That's the AC and stuff. Here is the kitchen. How cute is this kitchen? You got your stainless steel appliances, the flat top stove, coffee for in the morning. I'm so excited for some coffee, child. The sink is beautiful. I love the under the under cabinet lighting. We got the fridge. That is the pantry. Look, girl, I already checked all the doors to make sure no one is in here just waiting for me. But here's the living room. You got this little seating concept with the table. I wanna show you guys the view. It's not much of a view, but it's not bad at all. So. There we go. There's this area right here is set. We got the sofa, the coffee table, TV and TV stand. And here is the hallway. So when I read up on this, they definitely said that the hallway was dark. And when I came in here, it was, okay? But I turned all the lights on in here, so it's a little bit better. And this is all the lights. <laughs> this is all the lights. But there are... <laughs> closet spaces this is closet space and that is closet space it's super nice so they left me some linen and an ironing board i'm probably gonna need here is the second closet and the laundry pods and stuff over there so i can use the lovely stackable washer and dryer if i felt the need we're coming back to the bedroom i already got a little comfy there are my shoes my suitcase and I turn on the two lamps that were in here. Yeah, here's a good queen size bed. This is where I will be laying my head. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this room. When I was looking for an Airbnb, I really wanted to make sure that I had a good place to get ready in. Here's the bathroom. Here is the bathroom. Here is the shower which is an okay area. I'm shaking y'all, I might be hungry. My sugar might be low. <laughs> Here is the door and the vanity. And here I am. And there's extra closet space here. They love towels and soaps and stuff. Really, really loving this mirror, okay? That's really why I'm here for this big ass mirror to see my outfit and good lighting so I can see my makeup when I'm getting ready. <laughs> I'm so excited, y'all. I freaking made it. I made it. I'm here. I'm freaking here. So, yeah, that was pretty much the, the tour. I was saying that this hallway is dark, so what I'm going to do, because there's pretty much a good bit of lighting, in this area, I'm sure it'll be a little less because it's going to get dark, obviously. But I'm going to put that lamp right there. And I'm going to plug it up right, right there in the hallway. And I mean, if you ask me, it looks better right there, you know? But y'all, I'm just obsessed with the lighting in here. The lighting in here is so bright. It's so, so nice. And the sun just shining in Houston to that child. Alright, you guys. Y'all saw my little adventure, and now we're back in the B&B. Little story time, okay? Because my whole time walking, 
I didn't have to open that one door. Everyone was there to like open the door for me and greet me. Some dude stopped in the middle of the street and was like, oh, you look so nice today. He was kind of cute. I ain't even going cap. He was kind of cute. I don't even do light skins for real, but he was a light skin with dread. He had a He was cute. Yeah, that was, that was really nice of him and of all these other people, okay? They're all just funny. I was just laughing and smiling my whole way down downtown, okay? Look, I'm glad that I went out. I almost, well, no, I didn't almost stay, but because I know I needed something to drink and something to eat. I brought nothing but some popcorn and some Mike and Ikes. <laughs> so I know I needed something. I know I needed to get out, but that was a beautiful, beautiful experience to be by myself. I felt safe. Um, yeah. My name is Colin. Hello? Can you hear me? Hey. Hey. Yes. That was Manana, y'all. She lives in Houston too. She lives in Houston. I'm actually, my whole mom's side of my family lives in Houston, so I'm just I'm I'm home. You feel me? I'm home, and I'm just I'm. Ugh, I feel so good. I feel really good. The Astros play tonight. I'm gonna watch the Astros tonight. Until then, I'm gonna watch the Kardashians and eat me some pizza. So I got me some lasagna. It came with their breadsticks. These look like pizza dough. These gonna be so good, y'all. We got some Parmesan cheese. They gave me utensils. Thank you, Jesus. Mmm, 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 y'all. Stop. I might try this right now because I'm dead hungry. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture first. I'm gonna take a picture. You know you gotta take a picture first. Mm -hmm. Now that's what I'm talking about. Ooh. Lord Jesus, I ask that you bless this food that I'm about to receive for the nourishment and strength of me for my body in Christ's sins. Amen. Y'all yeah, see that pool? Mm. I love me some pasta, y'all. So this is a, a boudin and bacon pizza. It has the boudin, you know, the rice and the meat on it. And then it has bacon as well. I got me a little medium. It said it serves two people. That's funny. Cause it's only one of me, you know. I'm gonna eat this right now too. So yeah, that's the food. I'm gonna turn on the Kardashians, child. I'm gonna lay up on my sofa. I didn't show y'all when I, they had extra sheets in there. That's what I was hoping for because I dead forgot to bring mine and I was the plan. So I used a sheet to cover up the sofa. I got my bonnet over there because I just took that off. I covered up the, the decoration pillows with a pillowcase. We just gonna lay here and chill until the Astros come on, okay? starts at seven so what I want to do because I know this game is gonna be running long it's gonna have a lot of my attention I want to get my uniform or my interview outfit laid out and I want to get my purse ready 
and kind of lay out my hair gel and all that stuff for the morning. So we're basically prepping for in the morning for a smooth transition, you know, so all I gotta think about is, you know, getting there, you know what I'm saying? And uh, make sure I'm not forgetting anything, so. Yeah, I went to H&M to get some pieces so I have to have a cute interview outfit because y'all if you look good you feel good that's always my motto okay because when I look good I feel good and I present myself the best and I'm seeing my best you know what I'm saying I'm in my silk pajamas okay thought it was a perfect time to bring these out for a beautiful night's rest for a beautiful beautiful day tomorrow I want to show you guys my outfit real quick look this game is about to start so I want to show you guys what I'm going to wear so what I'm going to wear I had that black turtleneck on today. That's what was gonna go with this outfit. But since I decided that I'm not gonna go with that black turtleneck, I just wore it today. So for tomorrow, I wanna do a white turtleneck. And then I have this black cardigan to go over it just so that, I don't know, I'm not a blazer. I'm not a blazer chica, okay? Meat meal on this mother. I love that this brown right here tying in with the brown on the skirt. Once again, I got the turtleneck from H&M. This was $9.99 and I got the skirt from H&M which was $24.99. And you see I need to iron it because look, it was folded all up in my in my luggage. I have my black tights, my skirt, my white turtleneck, my cardigan, and these are the heels that I'm going to wear. And I also laid out the outfit that I'm going to wear after the interview. Once again, I'm going to see my Houston family, okay? So it's just going to be a fun, eventful day. And I'm just so excited to make it mine, child. So yeah, here is the final outfit. You guys will see it on tomorrow with my red lip. I'm gonna have on my red lip. I'm gonna have my makeup done. Um, yeah, my hair is tied up. I'm gonna take these earrings out and put some studs in. I have an anklet that I'm gonna put on. I'm gonna keep this necklace on just to keep my style, you know. <sighs> And yeah, like I have laid on my outfit, I might throw it in the dryer since it's here, you know, and just hang it up in the closet for tomorrow. So yeah, that's what's going on. Undergarments and a towel for in the morning to freshen up. I have my makeup. I have all my hair stuff, deodorant, perfume, just so I can make sure to put that stuff on, okay? I'm going to be nervous, so I want to be forgetting stuff. <laughs> I want to be forgetting nothing. I have this anklet that I want to put on. I'm going to choose a pair of these earrings. I have a vlog on my channel from my tap out session. So I have this piercing, my second hole over here, and then I have two cartilages over here. And then I just have my second and third piercing over here. But yeah, I don't think it's going to be within regulation to have all of them piercings in. So I'm going to just save that for after the interview because I still want to, you know, pop out with my piercings or whatever. And yeah, these are just from the beauty spa store, so nothing fancy. I got my toothbrush and toothpaste with my cotton pads and stuff, and all of my skincare, okay? I have everything laid out. Yeah, my plan is to get up, you know, refresh, do my makeup, put on my outfit. I'm excited. I really plan on getting ready with y'all so y'all can see me, you know, with my outfit on, see me putting my makeup on so y'all know what products I'm using. Here is me in my PJs, okay? These are some silk pajamas that were a gift from my mama. This is the purse I'm gonna take. So, you know, the white and black is still going on. I need to pull out my resume. I need to pull out my little flats that I plan on wearing that has like my passport and stuff in it. But these are flats. There's literally shoes in here. So after my interview, I wanna put those on. I don't know how to freak I'm gonna fit those in here, but we will see. I'm ready for tomorrow. I'm probably just going to call my grandma, call my sister. Look, Houston already has won, and I missed it. The game is just still the first inning, child. It's just the first inning, and they already have won. We're not here to play, okay? Y'all give me y'all's good luck in the comments down below. Send your love. Send your positivity, because all positive vibes are welcome. I'm sending y'all positive vibes for whatever part of the process you're in. If that's your reason for watching, sending positive vibes to anyone watching, you know? So, good night, you guys. It's interview day. It is 6.58 a.m. in Houston, Texas, okay? I've been up, not gonna lie. Yeah, I did some stretches in bed, so I feel good in my body. You know, I'm not 
tight enough anywhere. I've done my Bible study. I've got my word for the day. And we here, baby. We are here. Just been laying down praying and getting my mind right, okay? I've been waiting forever for this moment. And it's freaking here. It's here. So, my interview is at 9 o'clock. But I do plan on getting there a little bit early. I plan on leaving here at 8.30. Good morning. Rise and shine. You up, friend? I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. Okay. You, you said you're up. You're waking. You're walking out. No, I'm up. Like, I didn't even need oh, the alarm. Okay. okay. Uh, eat great. Take great. Eat better. Yes, sir. And uh, call, uh, call us once you're done. I will, I will. Thank you so much. All right, love you. I love you too. Thank you. Bye. 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 I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, y'all. Look, I've just been overwhelmed with support. I just know that they're there for me. They're there for me. I'm just so excited to, you know, bring them this good news and bring them along on this journey with me. Literally, it's going to be like changing. Before I start crying again, watch me get ready. We're going to cute. We're going to cute. do their own thing okay and we're on my time today baby so i'm gonna use a little bit of gel like the slightest bit i can lay out and for my eyes i'm gonna use the elf liquid liner and then i'm gonna use the Maybelline 
no, this is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Eyes are on. That literally took me 10 minutes. I'm gonna do these lips real quick. I'm gonna use a brown lip liner by LA Girl and my Mary Kay Berry Lip Liner. I need something that says I'm here, you know. Beyonce, Brianna, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm kidding. Just for this interview, I've got the Fenty Beauty. This is the Stena lip paint in the color Uncensored. Okay, so we got. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! It. Y'all just witnessed me break my Stena lip paint on the camera, bro. Look, it says shake it before using. It was shook. Wash my hands before I put on that white shirt, girl. Let me see. Okay, I'm gonna put my shirt and stuff on. Oh my, I'm gonna skip the yellow. I can't. There we go. Whew. I'm not sure if I should button it or not. I'm gonna leave it on button. Leave it on button. Have my shirt tucked in. Watch your mind. It is 8:26. guys later wish me luck wish me luck thank you so much for you know sticking out this far we're going to go get this job and i'm gonna show you guys you know walking down the street and stuff i'm not gonna record in the building i ain't even gonna worry about that or stress myself out about that but i will see you guys after the interview for sure y'all already see people in there no. hey guys i'm finished so yeah, I'm back from the interview. I already took my hair down. I already um, felt this on me. Yeah, took my hair down at that point too. Took them heels off, took them clothes off. I got there at 8.45. We started at nine. We wrapped it up around 11.15. Yeah, so it was more group activity based. So I felt like I was able to shine. You know, the real group, which was good. In my reading this morning, it was literally like mentioning that two people are better than one and we have to be there for each other's success, you know? So I did my part, literally I did my part, did my work. I met a lot of beautiful, beautiful people. I got the phone numbers of the girls in my group. Literally, they're all so beautiful. Like it did, couldn't have went better. That experience was a blessing. I'm so excited for what's next so i did book my interview for the weekend i don't know why i would do that or i don't know why but <laughs> book my interview for friday so it's right before the weekend so now i have to wait you know throughout the weekend and i hopefully will get a call on monday i will get a call on monday mentioning you know training and stuff i'm gonna put my scarf on i'm gonna chill and just decompress for a little bit i'm gonna eat something I was thinking about going down to the bar, but it's literally like 11.30. <laughs> so it's still morning and I don't even think bars are open. But yeah, I, just, I had a lot of fun. I'm not even, I can't even stop saying that. It was more fun than stressful. We were there and nervous and stuff, but you know, we were all there for each other and there to support, you know. So what we did was we got there we were offered snacks and drinks and stuff, so thank you for that. We did, you know, a briefing, like um, a PowerPoint thing over what the airline is all about, you know. Did I mention I want to be a flight attendant, you guys? Like, we're watching this whole thing and I never mentioned with my mouth that I'm going to be a flight attendant. We did the group activities and yeah, it was just a lot of stations, a lot of scenarios, a lot of demonstrations. Um, a lot of showrooms so I just feel like I was I conversated with a lot of people I connected with a lot of people yeah I just met beautiful beautiful faces and I just can't wait to see them 
later. I want to see them again. Like, I'm going to see these people again. The staff was wonderful. The building was literally gorgeous. Like, jaw dropping. All we do is wait now, y'all. But yeah, after those group activities, we did like a reach test and, you know, got into the jump seat. So, did my part there, followed directions. And after that, we did that one on one that everyone is talking about. So it wasn't really an interview, but one on one with the recruiter and we're doing like different scenarios. I can't say too much. <laughs> I can't say too much. I won't say too much. But yeah, I'm getting this job. That's all I can say. I just gotta be patient and wait for my moment, okay? Right now I'm going to end this video in my interview process because we're done interviewing. We're just waiting for that, that training offer, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> we just waiting for that training offer, girl. And we're gonna get it. I'm just gotta be patient and do what I gotta do in the meantime, you know what I'm saying? So, thank you so, so much for watching my process, my journey here to Houston, Texas, and you know, sticking it through with me, watching me get ready for my interview, and Overall, just hearing my experience, I had a blast. I can't say it more. I'm gonna work better. So, yeah, my flight leaves tomorrow. So, I'll be leaving Houston tomorrow evening or tomorrow afternoon. My flight leaves at 3. So, I need to be at the airport at like, I need to be at the airport at like noon, you know, so I can get through there. Until next time, I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. I'll see you later. Bye.